All right, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, mm -hmm. right? You know our next guest from Cagney and Lacey, Burn Notice, and a whole lot more. Oh, and you can know a whole lot more about her uh, life uh, reading her memoir. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sharon Glass. <laughs> yes. Hi, guys. Hey, Sharon, what, hey. Did we, what did we learn this morning? How what did we learn this morning? What did we learn? We learned how to set up Zoom at your house. <laughs> oh, well, the, the, the person who usually helps me came down with a terrible cold, so my husband did it. So I'm sitting in his office. Very nice. We, I just felt That's like right. he needed a little love since he was your IT expert this morning. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Sharon, I'm he so... He was also my producer and creator of Cagney and Lacey. <gasps> Get out of here. Get out of here. I married here. the boss. That's the way to do wow. it. Wow. Uh, I have learned so much from your book. And by the way, it's fantastic. You, it doesn't seem like you held anything back. Did you hold anything <laughs> back? Well, why? <laughs> you, I mean, why? Why? <laughs> well, I'm doing it. I just thought... I'm in, Simon and Schuster offered me a book deal, and I came up with the title, and then I just started spilling the beans. Oh, spilling the beans. As right. matter of fact, that's probably the easiest decision uh, Simon and Schuster has ever made. Who should we get to write a book? Oh, Sharon Glass. Sharon Glass. <laughs> uh, okay, so something I learned from your book, I did not realize that studios used to do this. They would set you guys up on dates with people? What? They did in the olden days of contract players. Yes, I was set up on a date with Steven Spielberg. Whatever wow. happened to that guy? Yeah, no, I don't know what happened to him after that. Um, <laughs> I, I ran into him at a party uh, a few years ago, and I went over to him and I said, I don't know if you remember me. We were set up, you know, on a date. And I said, whatever happened to you after that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Sharon, I need to know about this date. I, I don't know if you planned on moving on, but where did y'all go? Well, it was it was one of those things. Apparently, he it was um oh I forget it was it was the AFI. yeah AFI American Film Institute's first um a first dinner honoring and this time it was honoring John Ford oh, the director. Okay. I love that and, your husband is reminding you. <laughs> I beg your pardon? We, uh, we love that your husband's reminding you uh, where it was I and know. when the date was. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, and Stephen uh, was, needed a date for the, for the uh, AFI dinner. And so pictures of Universal Studio contract there was sent over to 20th Century Fox. And um, uh, Dick Zanuck uh, picked my photo. And uh, so then Stephen arrived at my house. It was a black tie event. He opened up his shirt and had a Roadrunner T-shirt on. <laughs> and, and the first thing he said to me was, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> the first word Steven Spielberg ever said to me. That guy had, he, he, you know, he, he had it. He had it right there, you know. Yeah. You know when you go show yeah. up on a date and go beep, beep, that's something. That's something. He was a very nice guy, very nice. Um, we didn't talk much the whole evening, but it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> we, it's we, all right. We were supposed to do show up at this thing. and um, Another really great story for the book that I enjoyed was uh, Rosie O'Donnell sending you flowers because you were an excellent kisser. Could you tell that story? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, I, I did a series called Queer as Folk, and Rosie came to do a, a three episode guest spot. And we have a scene where we get drunk together in a bar and she leans in to kiss me. And um, it's the first time I'd ever kissed a woman on stage, on screen, actually in the last. <laughs> but um, <laughs> she sent me roses afterwards um, saying, you're, you're a great kisser. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, the the Sharon Glass take over the world continues. You got a new movie coming out. Uh, what next year, right? I do, but I, they changed the title, so I don't know the name of the title now. It's starring Pierce Brosnan, right? And um, it was called Fast Charlie, but now they they've changed it to the name of the original book from which they took the story. And uh, my parts. <laughs> really good oh it's one scene and it's the filthiest scene i've ever done in my entire career <laughs> yes yes 
when they sent it to me, they said, here's the scene. Now read that first. And then if you can do this scene, then we'll send you the script if you want to read it. And I said, I can do this. However, did you get my name? <laughs> <laughs> I will be looking for insert name of movie coming yes, out in 2023. They changed the name. <laughs> but it's Pierce Brosnan and um, James Conn was in it, oh. the late James Conn. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good movie. Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> really, and my, my, my one scene took two days to shoot. <laughs> and, um, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your your reservation for not giving I us the details. That's right, because we want to keep our FCC license. Uh, Sharon, where can we get the book? Um, well, it's Simon and Schuster are the publishers. Yeah. Uh, you can get it in any bookstore, hopefully. This is the paperback now. The right. hardcover came out last year, and I'm plugging the paperback, which just one on the stands um, because I think it's a good stocking stuffer. Absolutely. I can't think of anything um, better. But if it's not in your bookstores, which it should be, um, then on Amazon, of course. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us this morning. Very and good. once again, I appreciate your husband for helping us with the IT this morning. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Thank you Aww. so much. You're the best. Seriously. Mwah. That was awesome. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Thank you.